At the polls, my countrymen conferred a solemn mandate on me to make democracy the means for eliminating corruption and alleviating poverty. Our administration is committed to transformation from a country where nice guys finish last to one where those who deviate from the straight and narrow will face punishment for their crimes. Our goal is to empower the citizenry so that regardless of who is in power, the citizenry demands the authentic rule of law. The task I have assigned to my colleagues in government and to myself is to demonstrate this by means of sustained reforms that foster merit, transparency, and accountability. In, in many countries, you have democracies or so-called democracies. And uh, democracy is understood to be uh, a place uh, where citizens have the power to vote. And that is all. That is the beginning and the end of democracy, the right to vote. But in fact, that right to vote is meaningless. It doesn't really empower the citizen unless and until that power, that right to vote, comes with social and economic empowerment. It's because there were unelected government, unconstitutional government, yes, they corrupted the whole system. There are no accountability, <coughs> no transparency. But during our tenure, as because we are elected government, we have parliament, we have committee. So everywhere there is, you know, transparency. Those values can be enjoyed even by the poor people, even by poor herdsmen in Mongolia. It can be enjoyed everywhere. Some people say that's, that's political issue when you talk about human rights. I say that's universal. Some people say that's cultural issue. I say that's universal. You know, how can, can you say that cultural issue when, when, when they criticize their government? If you torture them, they're in jail. It's not cultural issue. When they, those 10 years old, 12 years old girls, you know, forcing to marry to the men, that's not cultural issue. We have to respect her right. We have to respect everyone's right. That's not the issue, issue even the economic. Now we would like to show, you know, even poor people can enjoy, should enjoy, must enjoy their freedom. I think that God has planted it every heart desire to live in free. That desire always there. Sometimes that, that desire can be crushed by tyranny, but it will rise again. It will rise again.